Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. So I've been thinking a whole lot about this particular subject. This is uh, another episode of The Untold Truth in Detailing. This would be volume 32. And the way I want to start this is just saying that you make your business and your life what you want it to be. It is up to you to create situations and a path to get where you want to go. It has very little to do with the other people around you that are trying to get you to slow your roll or to slow you down. It only has to do with these people if you use it in a positive way. This video is about competition and the Kool-Aid, if you will. What I mean by that is, I want to just talk about competition. And competition comes in many different forms. And I want to share with you how I have overcome worrying about what everybody else is doing. And, you know, when you start a business, when you are really trying to get going, you have to build your own identity. And the reality is not everybody's going to like how you do things. You need to stop focusing on what's going on around you and work on what makes you who you are what makes you unique because either people are going to flock to you or they're not. And I can tell you that there is somebody for everybody. And that is kind of where I'm going with this is if you pay a lot of attention to the competition or the people who are basically doing the same things that you're doing uh, or in the detailing services business, the competition would be your local guys who are after the same customers that you're after. They're after making that money just like you are. And so what I'm trying to get at is you should pay far less attention to what your competition is doing and focus on honing your skills and developing the experience to provide a very unique service that the people that you deal with appreciate and want to use over and over again. In the detailing business, it's all about building relationships. So I have made it my duty to not worry about what everybody else is doing. You don't see me on the forums anymore talking to people. You don't see me in all these different Facebook groups because what these people are doing is not what I prefer. I per prefer to make my own path and to do things my own way, to be very unique. And I can tell you that it's because of some of those haters, some of the competition that don't like what I'm doing, that turns other people on to see if they could potentially like what I'm doing. So whether you're in a detailing services industry like most of you guys are or if you're in a product line situation because the reality is um, you know that's that's where my focus is in this industry is uh, with the product line so when I talk about competition I'm specifically re referring to everyone else around you who does what you are trying to do you need to focus more uh, on every customer that you get and building relationships with them that are going to be lasting relationships because it all comes down to that relationship, right? It comes down to how you make a person feel and how you provide a service and uh, what the end result is and whether or not that customer is happy with it. Because if they're happy with it, 
then they're going to want you to do it again. And if they want you to do it again, it's very likely they're going to refer their friends. And in the detailing industry, it's so important to focus on the individual customers. I mean, you're only as good as the last job that you did. I mean, because at any point you could screw a job all up or upset a customer and all of a sudden, they're talking trash about you all over the place. Now, there are some people, uh, the competition, who will talk trash about you regardless. But I can tell you, it's been my experience that even if people speak negatively of you, especially online or whatever, people are curious as to what went down. And as long as you have far more positive going on about you than you do negative, it's going to be okay. And if you have an issue one time or another where something doesn't go perfect, because you can't please everybody. That's the bottom line. But what I'm getting at is if you happen to have an issue and you do your best to remedy that issue and make sure that that customer is taken care of, even if you didn't do what they expected you to do, but if you're willing to fix it, that's important. And so if you're willing to fix it and you do everything that you can, and um, I've been in this situation lots of times, you know, not everybody feels the same way about how you go about fixing things. So even if you put out 100% of effort and try to do everything for the customer, they're still not going to be happy because some people like to cause trouble and drama. So they're going to speak speak negative, uh, negatively about you on the internet and that kind of thing, because that's big right now, right? Uh, the internet is huge. Uh, so if you have a customer, you have an issue, even if you remedy the issue, even if you are a stand-up person, a good business person, um, that person could potentially still speak negatively about you and try to get people to steer away from you. That's really not the way it works. The more publicity you get, the more interest you get. Uh, and there's no such thing as bad publicity. So my whole point is um, the competition will try to use some of that against you. They'll say, hey, look, look what this guy did in a negative way or whatever and try to steer people away. They'll use the things that they can find, the negative things that they can find, which are generally insignificant, especially if you care about your business and you're really working hard to achieve more and you've got far more positive situations going on than you do negative situations. And you know, again, all, the only things I talk about in this series and in my YouTube channel and even in my life are experiences that I've had. I don't want to talk to you about things that I don't understand or know about. But when it comes to competition specifically, you need to get all of that mindset out of your mind and worry a lot about making sure that you provide the best possible uh, situation to your customers, that you cater to the individual customer's needs, and they are going to refer you. They're going to tell their friends. And those are the relationships that uh, build a, a really good, fantastic uh, basis for a long-term business. And that's exactly why my business grows each and every year. It gets bigger and better because I know what not to do from things that I have done from trial and error in the past. You learn, you grow, or you don't learn and you and nobody wants that. We're in business to excel, to thrive, and to make money and build relationships with our customers. So uh, if you don't listen and don't pay attention to the things that don't work, you'll never get ahead. Um, so the point that I'm trying to make is the competition is a certain type of person or a certain type of business. You are a different type of person, a different type of business. You need to be concerned about what you're doing to build what the customer wants and likes. So the customer, each customer that you get has to make a decision whether they like how you do business or they don't. And if they don't, then they'll move to the next person. It's more important uh, for most people I've noticed that uh, they enjoy dealing with you individually as a business than it is, man, phone blows up all day long. It's more important to most people uh, to enjoy how they deal with a person in business individually 
than it is how the job turned out, if that makes sense. And so when I talk about being a business person and catering to the customer and that kind of thing, uh, and I also talk about how, um, you know, it's, it's far less about how you do a job than it is about uh, your relationship you built with the customer. That's extremely important. And that's some of the best advice I could give anybody is, Take care of the customer, make sure you do what the customer wants, not what you want, because you'll lose money every time. But if you take care of that customer and you build that rapport with them and you show them that you're the type of person that can can be honest and can be, um, you know, can, can still get the job done, that's the person that they're gone, they're gonna want to deal with. And so build these individual relationships and don't be so concerned about the competition. Um, the only real competition should be yourself. You're only as good as your last job, and I mentioned that earlier. Um, you know, so focus on making sure every single job with every single customer is as good as it can be, build a relationship with that customer, and ultimately, if they like dealing with you, they'll keep coming back. They won't want to deal with somebody else. And you know, that's been important for me, is you know, to build that relationship. Uh, if the customer doesn't like how you are and can't relate to you, then they'll find someone that they can. It's about that relationship, not necessarily um, the job that's being done. I guess ultimately that does matter because if you do a crappy job and you're a cool person, that's really not good for business. But you have to blend the two. That's what, what's what I'm getting at. Build a relationship, worry about what you are doing and the relationship that you have with your customer. Build a loyal customer base and it will stem from that. It will spread and grow from that. And if you build these relationships, the customer won't need to go to anybody else. They won't want to. They will want to call you. So focus on that and not so much the competition. And, you know, the other thing is drinking the Kool-Aid. I know we all hear that online. And, you know, everybody, especially like, for example, my product line situation, um, you either drink the Gary Dean Kool-Aid or you don't drink the Gary Dean Kool-Aid. You know what I mean? Like if you like what I provide, that not only the uh, the knowledge and expertise, wow, lots of phone calls. Um, either you like the unique situation I provide, the customer service level I provide, the, the fact that you could reach me 24 seven and I produce badass products. Of course, I would say that, but there's thousands of people who say the same thing. I've got thousands of customers that only come back to me, that tell me how they only use my products. You know, we all do things in life and in business and we say things and sometimes we, we take things too personally, uh, but it's all about where you gravitate to. I mean, uh, some people don't prefer uh, the way that I am so, um, how should I put it? I'm kind of an attention whore. I like to be out there. I like to be seen and noticed. I love the spotlight. I love it. Everybody does because if you're not in the spotlight, you become irrelevant, right? And you know, for me, I've got a lot of information to share. And so I want to share that. I want to help people. And that's what is important to me. And so when it comes to the competition, I have none. These other product lines are not my competition. I am competing against myself every day to become better than the day before and the day before that. Every single day I strive to do better, become better, learn from my mistakes, which I've made a lot of mistakes, we all have. And that's why I can sit here and yap on a video and give you some solid quality advice because I have made these mistakes. I have done things I never should have did. I've, 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 I've said things I've never should have said. And for that I'm grateful to be here right now and be able to be in front of this camera having you listen to the things that I say because I am experienced in it. I know what to and not to say and do. Um, not because you don't feel these things, but because in business, you have to make certain decisions and choices and my experience has been Focus on 
making your customer happy and make that your number one priority no matter what brand of product you prefer or what person you prefer to learn from focus on you and building your own unique identity and we'll talk about branding in another video um, i'm pretty good at that as well um you know I, I i pride myself in being very good at these different roles you know better a better businessman than anything else um you know again i i own several businesses uh you know they are all successful things are working well because of the things that i know that i'm trying to teach you guys so as far as competition don't worry about what everybody else is doing whether you're in the service industry or even if you've got a detailing product line that's fine um but i can tell you that don't take things too personal. I did all that before as well. Don't worry about people, what people are saying about you. If you provide a good quality service or a good quality product and the majority sees that, then you're gonna be successful. It's all about the majority. We, always, we all make mistakes and like I mentioned already, I have made several in my career and in my life, but you learn from them. You move past them. You know, you also learn not to deal with shitty people. You learn who is going to um, benefit you and add value to your situation and who is not. I've had a lot of people come in and out of my life uh, and in, in and out of my business and, you know, customers come and go. You have to keep pushing forward, keep learning, keep growing, and, you know, try not to do the same things twice. That's the reality. Don't worry about what people are doing around you. Focus on being the best you that you can be every single day and find someone who can help you uh, and guide you if you're just starting out in a positive direction. And that's what I'm trying to do for you guys. Um, but as far as drinking the Kool-Aid, you find what works for you, however that comes into play, whatever that matters, whatever that means, find what works for you, whether it's me and, you know, the help that I give or, you know, and the products that I provide, or it's somebody else that's doing something else. My, my recommendation is drink the Kool-Aid wherever you feel comfortable drinking that Kool-Aid is my point. Uh, you know, again, I'm a, I'm a different flavor, unlike any other, and I, I provide a Kool-Aid like nobody else. And that's why people gravitate to me. I'm innovating, I'm changing the industry. I'm, I'm you know, I do things people aren't doing. I am a go-getter and I'm never gonna stop. There's no amount of hater on the planet, planet that's going to stop me from doing what I'm doing. People have, you know, people get jealous. I mean, that's the, the biggest, that, the competition. They see you doing a lot of work. Uh, they see you getting all these customers. They get jealous. They're gonna try to speak negatively about you and that happens. Uh, but you've gotta keep pushing forward because that competition or that person who is speaking negative, negatively about you is only gonna draw attention to you and make people curious as to what, whether that guy's just talking shit or if, if this guy really is awesome at doing what he does and providing the service or the product he provides and they're gonna wanna know that. They're gonna want to get involved. Look, I live it every day. You know, the more people um, that come out of the woodwork because they're jealous of you, because they want to drink a different Kool-Aid than you or that you provide, the more people that speak negatively, the more people are attracted to wondering what's going on. So competition is a good thing if you use it as a good thing. If it uh, creates an issue for you in your mind, you need to shut all that off. You need to be aware of what competition means. And competition means negativity. You need to focus on what you're doing, focus on the Kool-Aid you want to drink, go full speed ahead, and worry about what you're doing. 
Don't worry about what the next guy is doing. Don't jump jump on a bandwagon because your buddy says, hey, you got to use this, you got to use that. You'll waste a lot of money, I promise. Uh, and, you know, realistically, you know, in this industry, it's cutthroat. Most people are clicky. They'll join your team, they'll burn you hard, and they'll, you know, you, you won't ever know. They'll learn as much as they can from you if you're better than them or doing better than them, and that's the key. If you're doing better than them, they get a little bit jealous. And, you know, my recommendation there is keep everybody at a distance, a safe distance, uh, especially in business, and keep your business separate than personal. That's important. Um, I can't stress that enough. So be focused on what you're doing and what your goals are. Drink the Kool-Aid that you feel comfortable with, if you will, and uh, don't worry about the negativity if you're providing a good solid quality service and you're making your customers happy. Now, if you're screwing up all the time, you should probably fix it. And like I said, I can say it a hundred times, we've all made mistakes, been there, done that. You know, I know better than to do some things that I've done and, you know, uh, you know, having experiences that I've been in, I know be better than to do certain things. And so I don't do them anymore. Things, things evolve for me and my little company every single day. And that's what it's about, learning from your mistakes, focusing on the track you want to be on, and, and getting where you want to go, drinking whatever Kool-Aid you feel comfortable with. So uh, anyway, guys, 813-846-4406. I hope this has been some kind of motivation uh, to you. Uh, I just, you know, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, the different situations out there and, you know, whether that be competition or, you know, the Kool-Aid, as, as people like to say. And um, it was important to me to, to put out this video because there are so many people that don't know what direction to go in. And the direction to go in is find a person that you respect. Find a person that is obviously successful. Try to learn from them and go that direction. Uh, but my main recommendation is don't listen to a hundred different people and base your own situation on that. I don't think that's as smart as finding someone, uh, whether it be me or someone else that you really believe in and you really see uh, the passion from them and you, you, you believe what they say, like you, you can relate to it and it makes sense to you. Uh, you know, pick their brain, use their knowledge, and you know, if, if you take a training program from them or if you uh, want to follow their guidelines, you should follow it to a T. Don't try to build your own situation. Follow theirs to a T. See where you can get with that. Give it a chance. And yeah, I guess I'm specifically talking about my situation. The whole Gary Dean Passion to Profit Detail Business Training Seminar Training thing that I do, it's pretty important. Uh, and uh, I guarantee you, you'll learn something from it. But uh, specifically, find someone that you can relate to that is already successful and listen to what they say. Use what they say to further your business and your career and drink whatever Kool-Aid you feel the most refreshed by. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, have a wonderful day.